Dark backdrops let you create dramatic, scroll-stopping photos, but they can be trickier than light-colored backdrops because they make uneven lighting more obvious. This is true whether you're using a piece of black poster board, a replica surface, or something else. It isn't your backdrop, it's your light. In this video, we're going to learn how to create even lighting across your darker food and product scenes by flagging certain areas of your scene using a couple pieces of black poster board. Hey guys, Mandy of Replica Surface is here. Dark backgrounds help you create eye-catching, eye-level photos, but are trickier to work with than light backgrounds. The dark textures make uneven lighting more noticeable to the camera's eye, which our human eyes perceive as glare. Your brain's smarter than a camera, so it's able to auto-correct the light you see every day, so you might not even realize that you actually see uneven lighting all the time. Dark backdrops in our cameras, on the other hand, need a little bit of help to get the light to look the way our eyes see it. Like diffusers and reflectors, flags are useful tools for controlling your light. While diffusers soften the light and reflectors act to brighten areas of your scene, flags give you the ability to remove or block light from your scene. At their most basic, flags are anything that can be used to block or cut light from anywhere it isn't wanted. Have you ever closed a blind or a curtain to block glare from a television screen? your blinds are acting as a flag for the sunlight. Although you can use almost anything dark as a flag, the most common items are black poster board and foam core poster board. Also, most five-in-one reflectors come with a black side that's intended for use as a flag. Alternatively, you can use a dark replica surface like weathered wood or slate as a flag if you have them and you aren't already using them in your scene. My favorite flag is really just black poster board since it's inexpensive, it's easy to find, and it's a cinch to fold. To create dark and moody photos with even lighting across your dark backdrops, the key is to flag off one or both surfaces so that the light doesn't hit it directly, but rather illuminates only your subject. You can flag the vertical surface, the horizontal surface, or both depending on which ones are lighting unevenly. So let's walk through flagging step by step to go from this flagged setup to this final dark and moody shot. We'll use black poster board for this example. But right before we do that, let's just take a sec to like and subscribe. That would help me out so much and make sure you never miss another how-to video. Okay, so back to flagging. Start by setting up two surfaces in an L shape. Replica stands make this ridiculously easy. Here, we're using the slate replica surface as the upright surface and the weathered wood replica surface as the bottom surface. Next, flag the upright surface by folding a piece of poster board into a V shape and standing the folded poster board so that it sticks out in front of your vertical surface by at least four to six inches. This decreases the light that hits the surface directly while still allowing light to flow around it and hit your subject. Next, flag the horizontal surface using a similar but shorter piece of poster board, also folded into a V-shape. Place the poster board along the edge of the horizontal surface that's closest to the light source. Again, this decreases the light that hits the surface directly. Leave a gap between the vertical and horizontal flags to leave a path for light to hit your subject. If you're wondering what that piece of poster board on the right side of the scene is doing, it's acting as an absorber, basically the opposite of a white reflector, to absorb light and darken the right side of the subject. For flat lay photos where you're shooting one surface from above, you can flag those too. Just make a piece of poster board into a long skinny V. Place it open side down, like that, along the edge of the surface that's closest to the light source. Because it's only a few inches tall, the light will flow over top of the flag rather than hitting the surface directly. Play around with flag heights to find the height that best suits your lighting conditions and scene. Finally, if you're having any trouble with your flags falling over, an easy solution is to use a couple blobs of blue sticky tack or Play-Doh to tack your flags to the table. And that's that. Flagging is the trick you need to start implementing to get those dark and moody photos you've always dreamed about. Thank you so much for watching. If you need to brush up on your artificial lighting knowledge, I've got you covered with this video right here. If you'd like to learn my top five photo tips for food and product photos, I've got this one right there. A replica surface or something else. Hey, buddy.